Here we're going to be looking at the admission of a new partner into a partnership here and our example is going to be for a bonus that's going to go to the new partner for some unrecorded intangible asset here. So the existing partners are going to uh, pay a bonus here for the new partner to come into their partnership here. So let's look at this. The new partner C here is going to bring some new clients into the partnership and it has an intangible value here. So let's go look at our existing partners here. We have partner A, partner B here and they have a capital balance of 60,000 and 90,000 respectively. Total capital amount here of $150,000 and they have a profit a ratio here. Each would get 50%. Partner A gets 50%. Partner B gets 50% of the partnership here. So we have this partner C over here who invests. In this case they're going to actually pay $20,000 to come into the partnership and then the existing partners are going to offer them a bonus here. So let's look at how we calculate that here. First, the uh, existing or the uh, new partner C here is going to get an interest in capital of 20% and they're going to get an interest in profit here of 20%. So moving over to our uh, chart over here, the new partner is going to get uh, interest in capital here of 20% and a profit here of 20% here. So let's go down and look at what our calculations would be for this. So we have our book value here of our original partners at 100 $150,000. And then the investment uh, by the new partner C here, they're going to actually pay $20,000. So the total capital in would, that would, for the new partnership would, would be $170,000 upon admit, admitting the partner C here into the partnership. So partner C here going over here invests $20,000 for a 20% interest in the partnership. So uh, uh, the interest, the total capital here in the uh, partnership is $170,000. So taking that uh, $170,000 times their 20% interest here, partner C has would receive $34,000 here in their capital account. They're going to actually receive $34,000. So looking at the $34,000 in the capital account minus the $20,000 investment, that equals a $14,000 bonus since they only invested $20,000 and they're going to receive $34,000 here. So let's go down and look at our chart here where we have our new partnership here at Partner A, Partner B, and then Partner C here. So Partner C, their capital balance here, we calculated out to be $34,000 here. Partner C, uh, a capital account should equal this. Again, just going over here, they received 20% of the total capital here, and the total capital was $170,000 upon their admit, admitting, being admitted into the partnership here. So 170,000 times 20%, Again, that's $34,000, which we show here on their capital balance here. So let's go look at how we are going to handle this bonus here. Now, Partner C, they're going to receive a bonus here. So they've got the $34,000 worth of capital that they receive minus the $20,000 worth of investment that they made. So they get this $14,000 bonus. And we'll look at how that, come, how that is distributed here, um, where the original partners here, A and B, are going to transfer $14,000 from their capital accounts here to Partner C in this exchange for in this case it's an unrecorded intangible asset. That was that customers that uh, Partner C is going to bring into the uh, partnership here. And how do we allocate that? So we have to allocate $14,000 worth of this bonus that's going to Partner C here. And it's going to go to the original partners here are going to be charged for that and their original based on their original profit and loss ratio of 50 50 percent that was the original agreement that we had up above there so uh, partner A is going to get 50 percent of the 14,000 for seven thousand dollars partner B is going to get 50 percent of that 14,000 here for seven thousand dollars so let's go up and look at our uh, chart here for our new partnership, we have partner A. They had the existing capital balance here of $60,000. Now, this bonus here is going to reduce their capital account because they're going to have to transfer that to the partner C here. Their, their portion is going to be transferred here to partner C because partner C only paid $20,000 and they're receiving a $34,000 capital interest here in the partnership. So then going up here again, partner A. A here, the 60,000 minus the 7,000. That would actually give them 53,000 in their capital balance. And then partner B had a 
capital balance here of $90,000. And again, they would be paying a $7,000 bonus here to partner C here. So that would be reducing the partner B's account here from 90,000 by seven to $83,000. And then partner C gets $34,000 here for a total investment or capital balance here of $170,000. So let's go and look at their profit allocation here. Now, Partner C was offered a 20% interest in the profits here for the partnership. And then the difference here would be the 80% that would be divided and divided evenly between Partner A here and Partner B here based on their profit ratio percentage. So Partner A was going to get 80% or half of that 80% for 40% here, and Partner B gets the other half here for 40%. So we've allocated our total profits here at 100 percent here and then our capital was divided up in this fashion again partner c would receive a 20 percent interest in the capital here for uh thirty four thousand dollars so let's go and look at how we'd record this investment here now we would be debiting our assets here for twenty thousand dollars that's the amount that was received here from the new partner partner c here and then partner a's capital account would be debited or decreased here decreased by seven thousand dollars and capital b's capital account here would also be reduced by seven thousand dollars and then capital uh, ca uh partner c here their capital account would be credited or increased here by $34,000. So what we've done here is we've looked at how we'd calculate a bonus here going to the new partner for some unrecorded intangible asset. So this uh, customer list that we or these customers that the new partner C is bringing in that uh, was an in, had an intangible value here and it wasn't recorded on the partnerships statements here but it was allocated here to the the bonus amount here was allocated to the new partner C here when we go down and look at our allocation amount here for our capital amounts here. So that is how we'd handle uh, allocating a bonus to a new partner here for some unrealized and intangible asset that they're, in this case, that they're bringing into the organization.